I am urged by this honor done me by my appointment as the 13th Vice Chancellor of the University of Ghana and the first female to be so appointed to this office. I, Professor Nana Abba Apia Amfo, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, do in the name of the Almighty God swear that I will at all times well and truly serve the University of Ghana Lagos. So help me God. The University of Ghana is a story. A story of boundless possibility. The possibility of audacious dreams morphing into unfolding reality. From the founding of the university in 1948, the university has had a succession of principals and vice chancellors of varying degrees of distinction, but who have all been male. That tradition has now fortunately been broken. The University of Ghana, Lagos, has as of now a new vice chancellor who is female. Whether on October 11, 1948, when it officially opened to the public, or 73 years and 15 days later, the story emerges. University of Ghana always emerges. Here we have our Vice Chancellor today having more of students' engagements. We also see improvements in our lecture halls, our lecture rooms, where there are modernized technological appliances that we as students can benefit from during lectures. My vision is to uh, create an environment that allows for research, teaching and learning, administrative processes and extension activities anchored in uh, humanism and driven by technology. And my responsibility is to create that ambience for the, these various talents to flourish. Proud to uh, come into office, our uh, academic environment was plagued with much fear and panic. But within two years of her administration, she's been able to douse the tension and she's given us the peace of mind we need to go about our academic work. People now speak their minds freely under the ages of academic freedom. She's working hard to empower other young faculty members. I think it's all commendable um, feats that we cannot gloss over. The Alumni Association has sponsored the first hotspot comfort zones, which the construction is ongoing, and they are even poised to do even more. We see various alumni groups uh, supporting the refurbishment and modernization of uh, classrooms at the University of Ghana Medical School. We've seen that happen two different alumni groups, 1996-2000, uh, refurbishing uh, lecture rooms and modernizing these. Within the past year, we have had uh, up to 450 laptops being donated by organizations and individuals for our nudie students who cannot afford uh, laptops at all. We have also now uh, signed uh, agreements with uh, uh, vendors to supply our students with laptops at reasonable prices and also with flexible payment terms. The vision is taking shape steadily. I have benefited from the Vice Chancellor's One Student, One Laptop initiative. I'm glad to say that her initiative has helped me a lot, especially with my academics. Learning with my cell phone was a kind of tedious for me. Reading slides, performing online assessment, IAs and other stuff were very difficult for me. Thanks to the VC's initiative and other stakeholders who helped to make this possible. I'm glad to say today that my academic has improved a lot. At first, we used to go to the graduate school manually to check on the status of our thesis. But under her administration, we have what we call the thesis tracker system. Most students can't sit 
back home or at their workplaces and check to know the status of that thesis. With regards to the Grasak Hostel, you know we are close to 8,000 graduate students with less than 1,000 beds. So all documentation has been done and approved by here for a Grasak to have their own hostel to be able to accommodate most of our students on campus. Beyond the infrastructure upgrades and digital initiatives, Vice Chancellor Nana Abba Apia Amphos leadership has fostered a sense of inclusion, diversity and innovation. University of Ghana over the years has evolved in becoming a research intensive university. Central to realizing this vision is the office of the Vice Chancellor. Vice Chancellors who have come to this university with the leadership of transforming the university with the focus of infrastructure, ones who have come with the focus of beautifying the university and its environs and campus. And now, the current Vice Chancellor, Professor Nanaba Apia Anfo, who has not only focused on infrastructural development, but has also used the integration of digital learning in our traditional teaching and learning in the university. Well, the University of Ghana is 75 years old this year and uh, being the leading tertiary institution in the country, it is important that we celebrate this feat. Over the past 75 years, the University of Ghana has no doubt contributed significantly to the development of quality human resource in the country, uh, contributed to research and knowledge creation in this country and so it was really a good time that we celebrate but also as we celebrate we reflect on the next 75 years how can we continue to be relevant to the development of this country we will continue to do the things that we have done so well in the past being such a comprehensive university we have expertise across all fields and it is important that we harness these to support the development of this nation i thank all of those who have supported my administration in the past two years my senior management team the business and executive committee the academic board staff faculty and students of this university and then i have a list of organizations and individuals that have supported the university particularly the vice chancellor's program to enhance the university of ghana student experience i am truly grateful for all of the support out there the work has just begun and so I will continue to crave your support so that together we build a formidable university.